Yo, what's going on guys? JV here and today I have some more MLB The Show 20 content for you. Just a little bit ago, those guys over at SDS and MLB The Show just dropped the new championship series cards from the 2020 postseason collection. Eight new diamonds. We're talking cards from the Astros and Rays and the Braves and the Dodgers. So you heard it. Eight new diamonds. Some pretty cool ones too. I can't wait to show you guys. We're going to get to those here in a second. But before we get to the video, if you guys would not mind hitting that like button, thumbs up, subscribe, all the good thing you guys do to support. All the support is greatly appreciated. But yes, let's get into the video. Eight new diamonds. Let's check them out. All right, guys, so first on this list, and sorry, it's always confusing on where to put the camera when you're showing these cards because ultimately you're going to block something anywhere you put it. So this is where I came up with, right? This is the golden spot for me. But first card on our list is going to be Ryan Presley, 94 overall, closing pitcher from the Houston Astros. He's got three pitches, the four seam, the sweeping curve, and the slider. The four seam will hit about 97, as they would say. He's got the 102 hits through nine, 115 K through nine. He's got 95 control and 99 break. Again, like I said in my previous videos, the more relief pitching cards we get, the better. I don't care what their rating is. I don't care what their rank is. The more content, the better. So I have no complaints from this card. Should be fun to use, right? This is a guy that I probably would only use in a theme building series or in BR. Regardless, new piece of content, not mad about it. Yeah, let's get to the next one. All right, guys, so next up on the list, we have Bryce Wilson, 96 overall starting pitcher. He tossed six innings of one hit ball to win NLCS game four. He's got a five pitcher Ray. He's also got the sinker and slider. I always talk about that sinker slider combo. So he has it. He's got 95 break. He's got 86 control. So the control's a little bit down. Hits through nine at 108. Stamina at 95. Not a terrible card. Another new piece of content. Probably the only Bryce Wilson card above a silver or gold or whatever at this point. Five pitches. Pretty decent all around the board. Let's peep his quirks real quick. He's got pressure cooker, untouchable, control artist, workhorse, stingy and grounded not terrible so this is a card that i'm excited to use he'll definitely get at least one or two starts from me i'll probably debut him in a video fun right another piece of content for the atlanta braves let's check out the next one all right next up on the list and so far out of the three this is definitely my favorite one starting pitcher charlie morton he had a zero i repeat zero era and two alcs wins including series clinching game seven to me i think this card should be higher than a 96 but i'm not the one who creates the cards over at sds so i have no say but again a guy with that sinker cutter combo he's also got the splitter curveball is gonna fall off the table oh and his 4c might hit 98 for you really really nice looking card excited to use and this could be a card that may find my number five starter for the rest of the year just because i want to be biased i love charlie morton i want the Rays to win the world series that's beyond this video but yes another nice card let's peep these quirks real quick we got pressure cooker workhorse stingy grounded control artist and untouchable again probably my favorite card out of those first three let's check out who we have next all right guys so next up on the list is jock big Peterson plays first center right left field and absolutely annihilates right-handed pitching right diamond defense as well which is shocking but awesome uh pretty cool card this card might find my starting lineup for a little bit I at least got to get 30 at bats with this card just to see what he's like in years previous and in previous cards and versions of cards for Jock Peterson he's always actually been a really really good card playing above his numbers so I wouldn't doubt it if this card felt like a 98 or 99 overall just because of his swing the only thing that really sways me away from this card and you can see it down there in the bottom right his speed brutal yes he'll be a diamond defender for you technically but 36 speed kind of draws me away from this card but there's no doubt that I am going to use him Let's peep his quirks real quick. We have Hitting Machine, Sniper, Bomber, Homebody, Walker, and Dead Red. I'm going to use this card. He's at least going to get 30 at-bats for me as a starter. I'm using Yelich in left currently. He can't be much worse defensively than Yelich, even with the speed. But we will find out. Be on the lookout for a debut video from him because that is definitely going to happen, especially since we made the World Series today on stream. Now that I made the World Series on stream and I got my albert pujols and i sold my albert pujols i am now ready to start making an abundance of theme teams so that's coming so keeping a lookout for that as well as 
um, as well as debut cards. But let's get to the next one, guys. All right, so next up on this list is center field card. 97 overall manual mark goatee had a three-run homer and spectacular fielding led to alcs game two win i like how they put the little details at the bottom of each one of these cards i hope this becomes a theme moving forward for the rest of the mlb the shows i like how they leave that little tidbit it's like when you open up that snapples bottle and you yeah anyways good looking card he's gonna have some pretty good speed for you above average speed he's a great fielder i mean great fielder uh, and you can hit. So this is a card you can use on a budget team, a theme build team, BR, or you can bring him off the bench as a platoon guy who's going to play really good defense for you and who's got an above average hitting card, you know, across the platform, I like to call it. Cool piece of content. I think everybody's kind of deep down a fan of Emmanuel Margo. He's good for the game of baseball. And uh, yeah, hopefully he can help the Rays win a couple games in the World Series because I'm rooting for him. Let's check out the next card. All right, next up in... This has now become my favorite card on this list, only because I'm a diehard Cleveland Indians fan, as you can see. And Michael Brantley is one of my favorite Indians to ever walk on this planet. So I'm gonna be a little biased, but yes, 97 overall Michael Brantley. He hit 346 and had a 913 OPS during game seven of the ALCS. First thing that screams to me is this card is how good he is at hitting. All across the board, he is just a good hitter. One of those cards where He's going to play above his numbers because of his swing. I know you hear me say that a lot on this channel, but a good swing in MLB The Show will automatically make an average card into a good card or a good card into a great card. In this case, this could be a good card turned into a great card because of the 111 vision and the fact that he has a absolutely beautiful swing. He's got one of those all-time great swings in MLB The Show. I really believe that. But a good card, only thing that's going to steer me kind of the other way is the 39 speed. 19 steel just like the jock peterson card pretty slow but i'm definitely going to be using him and i promise you he'll be finding his way into some of my theme teams but let's check the next one all right so this this one is pretty we got 98 overall first base max monksy he also plays second and third that's crucial he's gonna be playing second base for a lot of people here in this upcoming you know two weeks or so he um so he had a 1.043 ops with two home runs in the nlcs including three I mean, including a game three Grand Slam. Yeah, three Grand Slams, imagine. He'd have a hot lot. He'd have 102 overall card if he hit three Grand Slams. But yes, awesome power against both sides of the plate. Above average, way above average contact. Vision's a little lower than I'd like it to be. But the fact that this card plays second base and third base makes him attractive. Plus, Max Muncy is a fun card to use in general. Um, fielding's above average. Speed's low, but I don't need my second baseman or third baseman or first baseman to be you know, have high uh, high speed. So I'm not really worried about that there. He's got good enough fielding to do you just okay at third or second. And obviously he's able to hit the ball with the good power numbers from each side. Let's check out the quirks. He's got hating machine, bomber, walker, road warrior, pressure cooker, and quick reflexes. Awesome looking card. Let's check out the next one. All right, next up on the list, guys, is 98 overall Ozzy albies switch hitter who is which is awesome he plays second and short which is also awesome he has the diamond fielding which is great he can hit the ball from either side of the plate he being a left hand or being a switch hitter it's awesome that his left-handed splits are great so you can always bring this guy off the bench to hit against lefties oh and he can play middle of the infield for you above average speed great defense great card love this card he had five hits and two home runs which sparked wins in nlcs game one and two awesome player for the game of baseball first of all and just a good piece of content awesome looking card i'm excited to use him but yeah that went really fast but anyways man i hope you guys enjoyed the content if there's anything that you guys would like me to do differently or change or something that i could do better please leave it in the comment section i'm like a wet sponge i'm trying to take everything in and just trying to learn every single day as this youtube thing is new to me but i am planning on being here to stay so if you could help in any way or if you have any critique, please let me know. I will take it positively and I will respond to every comment you guys put in the comment section. But again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go grind out these new cards. Get your hands on them. Have some fun. And uh, yeah, have fun watching this World Series. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace.